How's it going everybody? It's Joe. I'm back again. Uh, still working on my GT. Just take my time doing it. I'm just here today, I guess, give you guys a quick tip on how to remove um, handle grips without destroying them if you want to keep them and stuff like that. I see a lot of people um, use the silicone with the hose in it, kind of spray up in there and then uh, loosen it up and stuff like that. I got a different way I've learned over the years. Um, if you got a little air compressor like I do and the blow gun handle, um, actually works a lot better. Usually it'll shoot them off and stuff like that. A lot of times you'll see, um, on this bike it has a hole in the center, but whoever had the bike before has dropped it a couple times. So, um, might not work as well, but I got a different way I can do it with the blow gun. Normally what I'll do is where the holes in the center, put the blow gun in one end. And, uh, my finger over the other and I'll shoot the one end off and then cap that end off with my hand and it'll air up and push this one out. But, um, let's get started and show you how it's done. First thing I'll do is loosen up the, uh, loosen these shifters and, uh, brake levers off so I can get to it. A couple different ways we can do it. I'll try both of them, see how it goes. this up uh, go ahead and loosen the bows up at the same time that way they're just done try not to scratch my new bars up I put on here already I want to go ahead and get them on and see what it look like even though I'm going to be taking all this off definitely um if you're gonna be working on your own bike and stuff like that Y tool is a good thing to have that way when you're working you have them three common, four, five, and six um, to get a hold of. All right, and then loose. Also, I think this bar has bar bar plugs on the end of it too. So like that. If you do it like that, and where this this one's been tore, it'll blow out. So what I'll do is I'll grab it right here, kind of lift this up a little bit. on these bars when I go to put this all back together I'll do a video on the easy way easy way to get these off I like doing it this way because it keeps from getting uh, grease and everything all over everything you need stuff like that like I said if um that hadn't been messed up on the end like when I put these new ones on since it ain't tore up I just plug over that hole right there ends and it'll drop right off and I guess uh while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and start in on um tearing my front end off of here be able to uh, replace my forks because I'm going to be putting new uh longer travel forks with a um I'm going to be putting these as our sun tour forks on there a little bit longer travel I think it might have an inch inch and a half more travel plus it's got the remote uh remote lock out on it and it's air fork I just I don't like these the, the it's a vague adjustment on it so first thing we want to do go ahead and loosen up the front wheel let's loosen up some and drop it out I'll just set this off to the side over here now um I'm going to want to go ahead and pull all my levers off of the bar just because when I take the, let me spin this this way so I can get some slack. There we go. Pull that off. Sometimes you gotta turn that bar to get yourself some slack. And I'll just take these and tuck these up in here. And um, 
I ain't gonna worry too much about taking this off right now because I'm not keeping that. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna loosen up my stem bolts here. When I, um, come on. When I decided to do a build on this bike, I wanted more of a high-rise bar than what was on there, so I ain't killing myself bending over. Now, what you're going to want to do now is that this is loose. should spin freely, but I got the top cap pretty tight. I'm going to start loosening up the top cap. When I do that, and let the bar spin free. And get it so far, you're going to want to keep a hold of your your forks or they'll drop out on you this is a fairly easy task pull that top cap off and you can pull all your stem and bars off let me just set them down out of the way now grab these spacers and stuff off of here then let the fork drop off I can just set these right here for now Leave my top cap right there. Now, probably have to get a baggie to put these in, or I can just set them aside on something. Because it's not going to not going to be doing anything. Um, when off these forks, the only thing I'm going to be keeping is this uh, bearing race, and that's it. It's the only thing I'm going to need um, off of this fork to uh, I'll need it for the new fork since the new fork doesn't come on come with one on it stuff like that then uh when i get this off i'll um take and measure it up to the match it up with my other my new fork then get it cut um i'm going to do a different video on changing out taking that off and um cutting and measuring cutting the forks i've already done it a couple times on another bikes I've already got the new, uh, I need a new star nut to put in there. You don't want to tear one out and re, and reuse it. They're not that expensive. Um, be able to keep my top cap and all my same spacers because I like to fill the bike. And also, with the, um, new fork, it's going to raise the front end of my bike up anyway since it's an inch and a half higher. And I'm going to be reusing, uh, the same neck and stuff. Or should I say stem. So, uh. That's an easy way to do it. Um, and trick I learned over the years when you want to put these grips back on, um, you ain't got to grease it up or anything like that. I just breathe into it a few times. Get some moisture in there. And you can just pop them things back on. You ain't got to worry about them taking too long to be able to seat in place and your grips moving on you and stuff like that. Um, I think that's a trick I learned about 25 years ago to do stuff like that and I can just pop it back off at any time. Um, I know on my dirt bike sometimes I use uh, four-wheelers, use um, clear paint, spray paint, spray down in there you know, get it set in place and then let it dry up and get it in a little grippy feel and stuff like that. That way it don't move. Because I don't like wiring them in place. I like them to stay in place. But it's an easy and quick way to, uh, to strip out front end and take your uh, bars off. So um, thanks for watching my video. Until next time, we'll, um, I think we'll be chopping up some forks and fitting them on here. Then, uh, after that, next we'll be um, putting on some hydraulic uh, brakes instead of the mechanicals because I don't like the mechanicals. Plus the ones I got kind of bent up and stuff like that, which is no big deal. So thanks for watching.